Hi, I'm Tom from Miracle. I recently hit rank 3 worldwide and rank 1 in 501 division, playing primarily Fortress Mustang, and today I'm going to teach you the fundamentals of how to play it too. The majority of this video is intended to be useful to any player below 1800 MMR, although if you are above this threshold, you may still find specific tips on how to pilot the comp useful. If you have any specific questions after watching this video, feel free to come ask me live on my Twitch, where I stream every day, or ask in the comments below. When playing towards any comp of Mechabellum, you nearly always want to have a well-rounded board with strong single targets, strong small unit damage or chaff clear, chaff presence for yourself, and some degree of ability to soak or tank enemy damage. In Fortress Mustang, our units primarily perform the following roles. Fortress is our single target, tanking, and anti-incendiary and anti-spell role via the barrier tech. Mustangs are our primary chaff clear, and also happen to function as late chaff for the fortresses and Crawlers are our main chaff. Tech choices are one of the most important decision points in any strategy, and Fortress Mustang is no difference. For Fortresses, Barrier is often the first tech, and is one of the best sources of adding effective EHP to your board in Mechabellum, and it also prevents fire and spells from killing your chaff as well as your Mustangs. Range Enhancement is the most straightforward way to increase Fortress DPS via better target access. It also is the only tech here which makes fortresses no longer tank for your mustangs unless you're also clicking the launcher overload tech. This is often useful once your fortresses have leveled or if you need to outrange enemy melting points, scorpions, or other strong single target DPS units. Elite Marksman is great if you are elite specialist, have at least one blue fortress, or have enough supply to elite recruit fortresses. This is the key tech in beating other giants and outscaling your opponent in most games. Finally, Launcher Overload is the least clicked tech in aggro versus defense matchups due to the range loss, and is primarily used as an answer to Steel Balls, Rhinos, and Sandworms, and is particularly useful in aggro versus aggro matchups, aka Headbutt. This tech is also the least necessary among these four, so if you would like to run another tech for this build, such as Fang Production, Fortress Anti-Air, or something else, then this would be the one that you would remove. For Mustangs, range is used in every game and will be the first tech you click about 99% of the time. Often it is bought on the first turn that you purchase the Mustangs, and generally speaking is necessary for the Mustangs to not instantly die in most boards. Armor Piercing is situationally useful if you think your Chaff Clear is a problem, and doesn't get clicked often since your level 2 attack enhancement from your tower does the same thing but also buffs your fortresses for a similar price point. Air Specialization is situationally useful if your opponent is defending with overlords or wraiths, but not mandatory and is easily solved via other unit drops instead, such as marksmen or phoenixes. High Explosive Ammo is a strong anti-chaff specialization tech that can sometimes be an option when Mustang single target is not relevant. Do note that as of the latest patch, this tech is a net neutral versus loose formation crawler due to the 7 meter splash radius. Speaking of loose formation, Crawler Loose Formation is the situationally useful tech, very powerful improvement to your chaff if your opponent is using units with 7 meter splash radius or less, such as slim hammers, branchlas, or typhoons, and is also still effective at increasing chaff durability against other chaff clear units, most notably arc lights. Notably, this is also actively harmful versus mustangs, since by default they do not have a splash radius, and this tech also reduces your crawler's HP uh, just baseline, right? In the lab results, uh, this tech also produced nearly zero benefit versus Vulcan in my testing in that standard aggro versus defense setups. Subterranean Blitz is your primary answer to Mustangs if your opponent has a lot of them that are leveled, tacked, or itemized, and if you need to improve your chapter ability further. Replicates is a tech that is sometimes situationally useful and a good tempo choice, particularly with the underground threat spell, or if you know that you will get an early tower kill in the rounds. Impact Drill's primary purpose is to be to replicate in a 1v1, which is why we have it equipped. You won't click this very often. So, now that we know our unit roles and techs, where do we place things? Mustang Fortress is an aggro composition, meaning that we would like to be as close to the line as possible. The strongest position in this board for a fortress is in the top left or top right corner, like so. This is due to the way that the shallow flank right here pulls and influences enemy chaff away from the tower, and it helps our fortress in the corner to dominate the board as hard as possible and limit the opponent's ability to counterplay this position via these trap positions here and here, but disable them from getting an early single target lock on. In particular, the shallow flank is a powerful enabler for the corner fortress since it pulls the opponent's chaff towards it, clears it safely, and still has single target provided for it by the fortress. 
any traffic clear unit is a valuable candidate for the shallow flank. It does not have to be an arc lights. Uh, Mustang is the least optimal because it is very uh, fragile and not well suited to being in this dangerous shallow flank position. And Fire Badger is the second least optimal because it will ignite oil placed by your opponents. However, pretty much anything else is a viable candidate for this position. You can pretty much stick anything you get here from a unit drop, including a Fire Badger, if you need to. This then leaves the Fortress open to shoot anything tanky, such as a Melting Point or a Vulcan, and pretty much enables it super, super well. And once it has taken out these tanky things in front of the tower, this leaves you open to kill the tower and to have the rest of your board clean up the rounds. Notably, we optimize our trap positioning as well as our Mustangs in this board to make our Mustangs the least likely to go crawler surfing. If you don't know what crawler surfing is, I highly recommend the next time a friendly crawler paths through the center of your Mustang pack that you watch what happens. <laughs> also, asymmetrical is the strongest way to play this strategy. Although there are a lot of ways and merit to spreading wide across the board as the game progresses or even just placing down a symmetrical copy of this formation on the opposite side of the board. This is particularly useful on a turn featuring a powerful spell like Lightning Storm, Nuke, Iron Beam, or something else. If you're looking to expand into the opposite corner, I recommend that you grab a Fortress and a Mustang and place it here first, and then develop these Shallow Flank Crawlers right here and this On the Line Crawler right here to best protect your Fortress on the following turn from something like an early Melting Point lock or something similar. Regarding items to this composition, this Corner Mustang right here is the best candidate for a damage or range item. Any HP items that you get, you would like to place uh, the first one on this fortress right here, given that it is most likely to take the most aggro. If you have uh, several of them, another four out here could hold that item, or a different copy of this setup on the opposite side of the board could hold those items. This fortress here is best suited to production items such as sledge or steel ball production, because it is the fortress that is least likely to die early in the combat and is almost always the last unit alive on your board. Our next topic is the ins and outs of Mustang Fortress. The main obstacle to overcome with Mustang Fortress is tempo. If you are not already familiar, tempo is a relatively broad term that loosely refers to the pressure one faces to their player hit point total throughout a game. High tempo plays and units end games relatively quickly, whereas low tempo plays and units may take time to scale or have limited capacity to deal player HP damage. Mustang is a unit which scales exceptionally well due to its unique ability to apply its damage better than any other unit in the late game but suffers from being very fragile, low damage output, and frontline reliance in the early game. This means forcing Fortress Mustang is often a difficult proposition unless your board already has leveled or itemized Mustangs and or Fortresses. One way we can address this is via being Elite Specialist or Elite Recruiting to start with Blue Mustangs or Forts to help start a snowball on these units or achieve higher baseline functioning, particularly for Mustangs. Mustang openers tend to do exceptionally poorly versus almost any other opener, so a common in into Fortress is Leech recruiting two Mustangs with range, and then going into Fortress the following turn, or receiving Fortresses from a drop that turn. Once we have Mustangs, our primary danger is losing to Fire, Power Oil, or Spells, which Fortress partially solves for us via the barrier attack. Early in the game, our Fortresses protect our Mustangs by tanking for them. Late in the game, the Mustangs become Chaff once Crawlers are dead, and the Fortresses outrange the Mustangs. This chaff transition by Mustangs, thanks to the Fortress range and or Elite Marksman techs, solves matchups such as Melting Point, Scorpion, War Factory, and any other high single target units. Regarding oil, skilled players will make your life hell with Tower Oil. Lower skilled players will not face this problem anywhere near as much, but a primary way we can mitigate oil impact is via the corner positioning that we have for our Fortresses by default with Bevel Tech, and a particular note is mobile beaconing a fortress across the line, the turn that you expect oil to drop or no, it will drop due to a card, uh, particularly across the center line of this drop so that it will completely nullify the entire drop on that side. It's very important to draw this beacon very short so that you do not collide with any enemy units so that you force the fortress to move the entire distance of the beacon as early as possible. Opponents will often oil following a Vulcan or Fire Badger unit drop or when their HP is low and generally speaking isn't that difficult to predict or beacon for, particularly if it comes from cards. When considering playing Fortress Mustang, I strongly recommend you do not force this comp unless you are playing Elite Specialist or a Mustang Crawler Opener. Ideally, you would obtain Fortress or Mustang from a unit drop and perhaps get a damage item or two for your Mustangs, and then choose to transition to Mustang Fortress turn 5 or later as your endgame comp. Regarding Specialists and Openers, there are many different combinations of Mechabellum at the moment, so it is fruitless to attempt to rank them all. 
Instead, a brief set of heuristics for the best Mustang for openers is the following. Any pack with crawlers is generally superior to other options. Steel Ball Arclight and Steel Ball Crawler are generally good unit openers to play Mustang Fortress from. Any rare unit specialist, such as Fire Badger or Fire Seer Specialist, tends to be a high tempo opener which can help you get into Fortress Mustang. Elite Specialist is my most played and desired specialist for this comp since both Fortress and Mustang love being blue, although it has many constraints that non-expert players may find difficult to play around. Do note that Elite without, with Crawlers or Fangs in the starting pack is far better than with no chaff. I would not recommend non-expert players to play Elite Specialist without starting chaff. Most decent unit combinations with a high HP specialist are reasonable to take due to Mustang having low tempo and having lots of HP loss early game versus Incendiary, Oil, and other spells. If you would like to see examples of how I play this board, feel free to check out my VODs on Twitch, which are automatically uploaded every day and available for at least 30 days after I stream. As well, I've uploaded an example game of how I played this comp to victory versus the rank 1 player on the leaderboard, and will be uploading more high level games and Mustang for examples in the coming days. Fortress Mustang is my favorite comp at the moment, and I hope this video helped you. If you learned something, feel free to like the video, subscribe here, or come follow me on Twitch. I'm Time for Miracle. Thanks for watching.